Four Knox podcast. Uh, normally, I would do a what's in rotation. It's been a little bit since I've done one of those, but I'm going to talk about two guns today. One of them being the 300 Blackout Spear 9 inch LT. Um, it's actually this gun right here. Everyone knows, loves it, hates it. You either love it or you hate it. Let's be real. So, let's run down on why and how this is set up because I've done a couple of videos where a lot of dudes are actually thinking, you know, they're on to something special because they found out that I have two optics on this gun and they can't figure it out because I'm not gatekeeping, but if you really can't figure out why there's two fucking non-magnified optics on a gun, you don't shoot enough. And you definitely don't shoot 300 blackout because this, once I explain it, should make sense to you. But if it's still stupid, it's again, it's because you don't shoot 300 blackout. So, Spear, LT, 9-inch, 300 blackout, running the Chimera 300 out at the end. Silence Co. Been doing its thing. Love this thing. Reared in on the back end. Reared in comp on there as well. Um, running the Reptilia socket right here up front. And it is a factory SBR. I haven't changed out the trigger. Um, this is kind of not really even going to be a what's in rotation for this just because it's getting reset up. Now, if you see on here, and I'll discuss this right here real quick. So you can see that I am running an offset red dot an end gall and a primary red dot there you go basically the story behind this is i shoot 300 blackout i go on a hunt or i do whatever in this situation i just took this on a hunt this is zeroed the t2 is zeroed for 110 grain barns i carry a spare magazine of 220 grain subsonic well i said that really weird so long story short zeroed for 110 Zero for 220s, two different length, um, distances for zeros, but the same caliber, two different fucking grains. Laser zeroed for somewhere in between the two of these, which ever made the most sense at the time when we were shooting. I did go and hunt hogs with this thing, shot a lot of 110s, but I also did switch over to shoot 220s when we were shooting in a different situation for a different round, right? Also, um, there's no switchology on this. The light isn't on this. It got taken off because I am reconfiguring this for another hunt that I am going on that doesn't require me to even have 220s. So I will be taking this off, moving my laser, getting it out front, doing some more R&D on the castle stuff. So there's the what, the why, and uh, yeah, this was what is this was what was in rotation, but now I'm going to switch it up and I will be shooting the PSA gun again. Here it is, this is the PSA rifle. Everyone knows who it is, what it is, I guess, if you kind of pay attention to the trash that I put out. But here it is, 10 and a half inch PSA, Freedom Upper, $189. I am running the new Psy uh, 6 on here, which is from CGS with their muzzle device set up. I'm running a Maul, a Mod Light, Unity Axum, Axiom, whatever you call it. R&Ding the Castle EOTech mount, and uh, I am running an R&D version, prototype version of the new Squid Rail. Um, can't really talk about too much about that thing. Maybe I do, maybe I don't, but uh, <laughs> I won't talk about it. You can see the witness marks from fucking space. So there it is. This is going to be the gun that's what's in rotation uh, for me. I'm actually going to change out this barrel on this gun. Rebuild. Oh, holy shit. On camera. So this is the first uh, time I've actually broken anything on this gun. But PSA, 10 and a half inch. So, as always, slide in the DMs, 4